guess where I'm sitting at and uh, right now. Remember that blue car? I'll give you some more hints. All right. It's that beautiful Dixie, <laughs> but I'm not really driving it. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the bed of, uh, of a lorry, so uh, so forgive me this, but uh, you know, this is what having fun is uh, all about. I asked the guys to help me out uh, with my project, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as I do, because today was an amazing day. <laughs> and and I'm off <laughs> in a uh, in a Dixie. So I'm saying goodbye to Marius, to his uh, wonderful hospitality. Uh, he, uh, I was able to ride in this beautiful Ural. Truck. Remember this ride, <laughs> and uh, and uh, we're taking the the uh, Dixie. You know, I could pretend <laughs> I'm driving it. I'm not, but there's wind in the rest of my hair. Uh, so Jay Leno, envy me. <laughs> you have you guys, you know, uh, you have NBC, they can prepare for you uh, everything. <laughs> I have to stick out with a gimbal and, and my smartphone to, uh, <laughs> to have something like that. Thomas is riding in, uh, in that uh, Mercedes 124 diesel behind us. I'm riding in an old automobile and I guess this is the end of the ride but uh, it was like a, a carousel all right I got the uh, opportunity to sneak to get a peek at the engine bay of that tiny uh, BMW Dixie look at it how smart it is and how small but this was a uh, sports car of the era, so uh, so there weren't that many of these. All right, I gotta tell you, I wasn't prepared for this, um, so I didn't even take my gimbal. I have to uh, um, hold the uh, phone with my hand, but uh, there's another opportunity. This is a true <laughs> barn find hunting, and uh, well, we're still discovering classics, so. Uh, so welcome to the next episode. You're going to meet some great two brothers who are taking care of, uh, of their stash of cars. Look at that. They have some old Ford here. It's awesome. This is what it, what it looks like. This is the owner of the Dixie and as you can see they prefer pre-war cars. There's a great Hansa here, silver and red. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Look at the interior of the car. Wow. 
Toto je spojenie. Gejdes. To je ten, čo má to žadky auta. Ide ich drobný. Píše? Trudno povedieť. Pí... Pí... Píšeš, no. Píšeš, no. Píšeš, no. Five or six cars. Oh my god, what's this? It's a Peugeot? Citroen? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys have everything. Years and years of uh, collecting. And they really know what they have. <laughs> it would take me months to figure out what's inside this garage. But as you can see, uh, these are like uh, mostly pre-war cars, um, parts. The whole body. Well, the Hansa is the most beautiful one. There's a wooden body. There's a Ford. So perhaps um, some of you can find something that you need. Oh, please, yes. We're gonna see the engine bay now. They're so nice. The people here are so nice, you know. Oh, look at it, look at it. Oh, it's original. Original, That's an inline six. Look how well it's maintained and uh, in great shape. All these parts are still from the era. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna help out. Super. Okay. Let's go inside another garage. Let's follow the owner. <laughs> We're gonna see some more. Probably some more Dixies. I can see front of it. Oh yeah, it's another <laughs> Dixie. Oh my goodness. Uh, as we had the pleasure of uh, being in. Same but a little bit different. Oh, So, the engine's out, but uh, this is still a project, and uh, but it's going to be beautiful, see, the boat tail, um, BMW Dixie. Great show. This is a 1928 Dixie. This one doesn't have a...
carburetor because the the, uh, the brothers removed it, but um, they have five, so uh, <laughs> it's just for cleaning. All right, another Dixie. Yeah, but this one is a limousine, so it's probably close to uh, to Austin Seven because. Uh, all of you Brits. Okay, so uh, it's lacking the engine, but uh, other than that, they have to clean it up and uh, you're good for the road <laughs> in this uh, saloon, Dixie. I'll just try to, uh, to see what's inside. That's too dark. But still, there's no uh, no dashboard. In this one, we have some gauges. We have the clock. There's no speedometer, no. But the car is almost ready. Oh, yes. The NS U-P-7-1-T. This is an NSU 501 T. Ted, tak? Tak. Okay. This one's registered, but... That um, is nice. But for a car that's almost 100 years old, it's 93 years old. The mystery of the rims is that uh, for the uh, for the presentation um, at the historic exhibit, the brothers exchanged the rims and uh, tires from this car to the uh, to the sports roadster uh, that we saw uh, before the blue one. But this is great. These guys are so, <laughs> so odd. They had it for 40 years. Thank you for watching this episode of Discovering Classics. Uh, please stay tuned for future episodes and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to give me a thumbs up, go ahead. If you want to send me a comment, do so. Until next time, take care.